So what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel once again. You know I appreciate having you here. Now sad times. It's sad times. 2018 is dead. 2018 is no more. But you know what that means? No, I haven't been knighted. I'm not an OBE or an MBE yet. There's no surfish. Bloody queen. What's she up to? No. What this means is it's now 2019. This is the first ride of 2019, which also means this is the first video of 2019. Uh, I just want to tell you the plans for 2019, what we're going to get up to, what sort of things are going to happen, what my New Year's resolutions are, what I'm doing with the bikes, what I'm doing with the channel, that sort of thing. You know how it goes. But before we get on to that, I know you're excited and you can't wait for me to tell you. I can feel it in my bones that you're just sitting there on the edge of your seats thinking, oh Jesus, not another boring video with you talking shit. Yes, it is. But back to New Year's Eve. And I thought I'd share this with you guys because it amused me. It made my year. It made my 2018. It was one of the funniest things, although it really technically wasn't funny, but I'd let you judge. I will let you judge whether you think it's funny or not. Right, anyway, those of you that know, I'm a train driver. Those of you that don't know, I'm a train driver. And I was working New Year's Eve, working late, right up to 11.30, half an hour before the fireworks go off. At around 10, it was probably about half nine, half nine, ten, let's say, there was a guy on my train, completely drunk. I mean, so drunk, it's unreal. And I know this because when I went to close the doors, he tried to escape from my train. He did a Superman jump to get out before the doors closed. He went right at the last minute and he actually went out like Superman, a complete dive. And it would have been epic apart from one thing. He caught his trailing foot as the doors closed, which meant he stopped mid-air, complete mid-air, and then went straight into the platform and he kind of uh, knocked himself out. Now, I know what you're thinking, that's not funny. And no, that's not funny, to be honest, it's not. Poor sod. Yep, anyway, he knocked himself clean out. However, what makes this a little bit different from the norm, because, believe it or not, this has happened before, where people knock themselves out, falling off a train drunk. It's not an unusual thing. Now, what makes this one a little bit unusual is, as he jumped out and caught his foot, not only did he knock himself out, but, he also caught the leg of his trousers, which meant when he landed on the floor, his trousers and pants were around his knees. So he was knocked out with his ass in the air, mooning everybody on the train. So what I did was call it in to the controller and said, there's this guy, he's knocked himself out. He's kind of got his trousers around his uh, knees. I can't depart the platform because he's too close to the edge. And if he does wake up when I depart, he could roll in front of the next train. See, very professional. So the controller got onto the monitors so we could bring up the CCTV for the platform. And he did say, I shall send staff down, the station staff. So while we were waiting for station staff, I made a couple of announcements. Just to say we're gonna remain in the platform for a little while, there's this guy, he's a little bit worse for we're on the edge of the platform. I'm not gonna leave because I don't want the next train to ruin his new year completely. A few people got off, good Samaritans to help this guy, and they were sitting with him, sort of like kneeling with him and comforting him and, uh, just trying to bring him round because he was so drunk I think he decided to sleep there half naked but I don't know whether these guys were his friends or they were just random strangers on a night out but they decided to take selfies selfies with his backside and their faces so again a little bit unusual but hey ho New Year's Eve I was gonna say knock yourselves out but you can't really say that in this story because it's already been done no I thought oh there's a bit of hijinks they're probably his mates and then on one of the monitors, because my cameras are pretty good, and it's quite close up to where the incident was, I could see one of the guys, he was staring at his phone, and then he kept looking at this wine bottle he had in his hand. And then he looked at the guy's butt. And I never thought I'd have to make an announcement like this, but I actually made an announcement. I said, would the gentleman with the wine bottle kindly not stick it up that man's backside for the sake of a selfie? That's not cool. That's the actual announcement I made. Now on that announcement, everybody on the train stuck their head out the door. It was like meerkats. I've never seen so many heads come out the door at one time. Anyway, <laughs> he didn't get a bottle shoved up his ass, so it didn't completely ruin his uh, New Year's Eve. Or it might have made his New Year's Eve, I don't know. 
But anyway, the poor sod only made it to half nine, knocked out half naked on the platform and probably went to hospital and never made New Year's Eve. So let that be a lesson to you. Drink responsibly. Anyway, the station staff came down, they helped the guy out. His trousers had been pulled up by a kind Samaritan by that point and uh, all was well. They took him away from the edge of the platform so the train could leave and he was in no danger for the next train. So that was my New Year's Eve, so <laughs> that amused me. It shouldn't have, but it did. Before I get into uh, the plans for the year, I just want to thank you guys for the support and love for 2018. It was an epic year on YouTube for me. Got up to 8,000 subscribers before New Year. I was aiming for 5,000 around there. That's what I was hoping for. So I got up to 8,000. So you can imagine how happy I am at that. So thank you very much. Really appreciate it. I appreciate the interaction, the comments in the comment sections below. And for you guys that follow me on Instagram and Twitter, if you do not follow me on those two platforms, why not? What's wrong with you? It's just quite simple. You go to Instagram or Twitter and search for this and then bam, you can come follow me there. But once again, thank you very much. You will never understand how much I appreciate and how it makes you feel humble it humbles you YouTube I mean the guy I spoke to at work said to me when I reached 8,000 he remembered when I said I'd be lucky to get a hundred subscribers so you can imagine how over the moon I am at 8,000 anyway I'm banging on about that I've done a video on that before have I no well I've mentioned it before anyway especially on Twitter and Instagram so I'll shut up about that now and get on to 2019 right so bike wise review wise yes I've got some coming up there's a few new Hondas coming out so I'm gonna review those and test those courtesy of Doble's hopefully they'll be very very soon and hopefully I shall get the drop on everyone in the country on those as well so I'm gonna review those and get those out to you and any new Hondas that come out during the year I should get those reviews out to you as well if there's anything you would like to see especially from the Honda range that I haven't reviewed that I can get hold of let me know in the comment section below and I'll try and get that review done for 2019 even if it's a slightly older bike if they haven't updated the model for 2019 that's not a problem we shall see what we can do and I should get Doble's on board with that one that's the plan anyway I'm also trying to get other manufacturers on board so we can test ride and review some other bikes and products as well so that's the plan there's nothing set in stone but we're gonna hope 2019 will bring more people on board for the channel channel wise what am I hoping for just growth basically as long as it keeps growing I'm happy that's what she said but no seriously I just I'm just happy if I finish the week on more subs than I started the week I'm happy New Year's resolutions I don't really have any I've not made any this year maybe have more fun than last year I'll go with that one let's go for more fun than last year I mean last year on YouTube was great I'm not saying in life everything was rosy but on YouTube last year everything seemed to fall in place it all worked out for me that was probably more luck than judgment but hey if you've got luck on your side you can't knock it can you so let's go for fun i want to have more fun this year than last year and last year obviously i had more fun than the year before so if we keep going like this give it another 10 years or five years and i might actually explode with fun right meetup plans i'm going to do my two meetups of the year of course They've got to be done now. We've got the beginning of season meetup, which is the boss, and the end of season meetup, which is the EOS. Obviously, the boss one's uh, going to be pretty soon. I'm aiming for the end of March, beginning of April. Nothing set in stone because I haven't looked at my diary to see what weekends I've got off. So as soon as I find that out and kind of work it out what we're going to do and see if I can get people on board, we're going to do that and get that boss meet up off and running. So hit that notification bell. Make sure you're signed up for the notifications and then when I find out the dates for that, I should drop a little video on my channel and you can get the heads up on that. Last year was pretty good. It was the first one last year. We did the second EOS, which is the end of season, where we did the first beginning of season last year. But there was more people that turned up than I thought was going to turn up. I think it was 20 plus, so not bad at all. Uh, this year is going to be bigger. Obviously, it's going to be bigger because more people have heard about it. So please keep an eye out for that one. Right, summer trip plans, don't have any don't have any it's unlikely I'm gonna get over to America this year very unlikely uh, I just simply don't have the funds I've exhausted all my money and my house build has taken two and a half or three months longer than it was supposed to and has gone massively over budget so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on the bike for trips this year I'm gonna to have to keep it local I probably I'm not saying probably I'm gonna try and do a UK one or a Europe one 
maybe go and visit some people in Europe or around the UK or maybe do a week mucking around in the UK just see where my nose takes me not really planning go and see some areas put some sites in the map that I want to go and see and then uh, basing a trip around that I'm going to try and get away for more weekends this year as well I want to try and do that this is all try and do that if you notice I'm saying I'm trying because obviously I don't know I'm a married man I can't just keep disappearing I know my missus is pretty spot on when it comes to my trips I think she enjoys the break as well to be honest <laughs> I don't blame her I'm a pain in the ass and I say this every year but this year I'm gonna try and get to some more meetups last year I planned it but no one really had any that I uh, sort of like saw that I got to obviously I got to SCMM and I got to Andy Man Cam's one but apart from that no one else that I know really did one that I kind of saw in time or saw at all so if you're doing a meetup and I'm off that weekend and I can get there I will I'll try my best to get there bike wise as in my bikes I'm gonna keep them that's the plan I mean I've said that quite a bit in the past I'm gonna keep them and I never do I've had this for nearly two years this will be two years in March I've had the Africa twin and obviously the CRF 250 is quite new and I'm enjoying that green lane malarkey <laughs> that's fun it hurts because I keep falling off but it's good fun so I'm gonna keep these two bikes they're pretty spot on for what I need I absolutely adore this bike I mean it's overkill for what I use it for because I use the uh, CRF 250 off-road and this for mainly commuting very rarely do I do a long trip on this so it's kind of overkill but you know what I don't really care and obviously I can't get rid of this bike because this exhaust note is absolutely sexual it is sexual pleasure at the highest level when it comes to noises that is well when it comes to machine noises yeah let's not get weird about this but you know what I mean I mean check this out let's drop it down there's a nice wall here so it should reverb I mean you never get tired of that for me what am I going to do about me that's a good question obviously I'm going to lose weight that's standard because I put on two stones since I've come back from SCMM I have been training quite hard so I've been to the gym so it's not all fat a lot of it is fat but not all of it so I'm going to try and strip back at least a stone and a half two stone back to the muscle I've been calling it bulking for two months but basically it's just been greed while training not that else really just see how it goes enjoy the year I love these bends bear with me about enjoying myself having fun i like to have a laugh don't you pull out on me tractor oh, i love you you're my favorite tractor of the week right so yeah that's basically it i'm going to enjoy myself a bit more have some more fun lose a bit of weight test some more bikes go out and visit some more people do some more rides have some meetups it's going to be a great year i feel it 2019 YouTube is going to be a good one. I don't know why I can feel this. I don't usually feel this optimistic. <laughs> I'm usually a realist, not a pessimist, a realist. But this year, I'm going to try with that little bit of positivity and see where it takes me on this channel. I know I'm positive on this channel because I love bikes anyway, and I love you guys and I love doing it. So it's very easy to be positive. But let's see where this channel takes us. Let's see how we get on. I'm still going to interact with you guys. We're still one big family on this channel. So don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section below. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. Give it all that shit. You know what to do. And don't forget, if you've got a New Year's resolution, stick it in the comment section below. I want to know what you guys have been up to. What you guys are planning for the new year. What you guys are planning for 2019. Drop it down in the comment section below let's see what it's all about let's have a great 2019 let's wrap this video up because there's not really a lot more to say don't forget to leave those comments in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe to like to share to do all those things you, you need to do thank you very much for watching really appreciate it hold on oh that felt so good that just leaves me to say you know i love you all stay safe fish out get on your bags get out my house i don't
don't want your stuff around I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong So go ahead, get, get gone. gone Get all your bags, get out my house I don't want your stuff around I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong So go ahead and get gone